friends. I'm so glad to see you, and I'm glad to see our friends who are joining us online. Do you want to turn and wave to them today? Turn and wave. Hi, friends online. We're glad you're here. So in today's story, I want to start with something that happened a long, long time ago. In the time before Jesus was born, God's people built a temple for God, and it was so beautiful. It had fresh flowers, and fancy furniture, and golden decorations. Now, we have a pretty fancy sanctuary here, I think, but it was fancier than this. Can you imagine? Yeah, really pretty. And it was huge. But inside, there was one special room. And it was called the Holy of Holies. And it was built just for God. They took extra special care of that place. And when they talked to God, they even turned and faced that room, which is kind of interesting. The people prayed that God would come and dwell in that place, would be in that place, the sacred space they had made. They prayed that God would fill that place up with God's glory. So now I want to fast forward. Can you do fast forwarding hands like this? Yeah, there you go. Fast forward. Because our story today comes from a long time in the future after that. From after the time when Jesus was born and had died and was alive in a new way. It comes from a letter that Paul, an apostle whose work was to share the good news of God's love, wrote to the church in Ephesus. Now in his letter, Paul lets us listen in on his prayer. A prayer that he is praying for the people in Ephesus. He tells them that he is praying that God's spirit will make them strong and that they will be able to understand how wide, do you know how wide? And how long and how high and how deep Jesus' love for them is. And then Paul does an interesting thing. He uses some of the same language that the people used to, do, to use to pray that God would fill up that place. And he says, I pray that God will fill you up with God's glory. The people, not the place. Hmm. And not just this person or that person or this person, but all of the people, the community together. I wonder what it feels like when the people in our church are filled up with God's glory like that. I wonder what it feels like to know that God wants to live with us, to dwell with us like that. Would you pray with me? God, thank you for loving us so much that you want to live with us and in us. Help us to notice your glory, your wonderfulness in and around us. Amen.